All right, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Minecraft. For this time, we will be taking a look at how to use the structure block in Minecraft. So recently, the structure block was introduced to mobile devices in the latest 1.13 update. Now, for Windows 10 edition, you were always able to use structure blocks. It's just they weren't fully implemented. But now you can use the structure blocks to their most. And uh, we're going to be... We're gonna learn how to do that today. So basically I'm gonna teach you the basics of how to move a structure um, Which is pretty simple. Uh, you don't really have to know much You just have to know the basics that I'm about to teach you right now So the first step in order in order to give yourself a structure block you have to do the command uh, You cannot obtain it from the creative inventory So you have to do such give at PE and then you can do structure underscore block and once you do that you will obtain it in your hotbar and uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and put it down. So let's say we wanted to move this abandoned uh, villager house over here. You know, so let's just go ahead and put it in the corner. Now, obviously, it's going to depend on where you place it. Uh, so you want to make sure that it actually gets what you want to move. So as you can see here, it doesn't actually take what I want. Um, it actually takes uh, this portion. So we want to go ahead and like, you know, do a little bit of uh, moving it. So maybe if we move it over here, it'll be a little bit different. There we go. It looks like it's going to take most of it. Now, obviously, it's not going to be a perfect scale. So uh, you might not be able to move everything with one structure block uh, because it basically takes like part of a chunk. But uh, for the most part, it looks like it takes it. So uh, we'll go with this. So now you get a pre little preview of uh, what you are going to move. So obviously, we're not going to be able to move the roof because there isn't enough space. But we'll able, we, will, we will be able to move the ground and we'll be able to move the inside. So basically, most of the parts that we need are already here. Now, obviously, if you want to move a little bit more, you can go ahead and adjust the size. So as you can see, the default is 555, but you can go ahead and play around with the numbers, and you can see you'll get a little bit more land over there if you want, or you can go uh, a little bit more down, but we'll keep it at five for now because we don't really want to go that far down. And you can adjust the Z level. You can basically make it negative or positive. Um, we can do like 10. Um, that's a little bit too big. So I think we'll just keep it at 5 for now. And uh, there we go. So we got now a little bit of the house. And we got a little front uh, part of it as well with the uh, path. So I guess that'll do. So now what you want to do, go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and name your structure. So we'll go ahead and call it S1 because this will be save one. Now, obviously, um, as you're moving more and more stuff in your world, you're going to want to uh, keep naming them different things because you don't want them to overlap. So you're going to have to keep coming up with names for every different item that you want to move. And then you can choose to include entities if there are any. So uh, if we were to go ahead and spawn a fox in here, which was also introduced into the new 1.13 update. Um, if you want to go ahead and, I don't know, throw a fox in here, we could go do that. It might move, but we'll see. Um, there we go. Include entities. So if we go ahead and look inside, you can go ahead and see the fox is actually moving inside our structure box, which is pretty neat. You can also choose whether or not to remove box, so we can only take the fox if we wanted to. We can move the fox, but we'll keep the fox in there. Um, is the fox still here? You can't even tell if the fox is still here anymore. Nope, the fox, the fox disappeared. Um, he's not inside our range anymore, uh, but yeah, you can move entities if you want to. So I'll throw you on a lead and you're about to go on a little adventure while you're chilling in there. So let's go back to our structure block again, chilling in there and uh, pretty cool. So save in memory, um, show bounding box. Uh, that's just basically the box that surrounds the entire thing. And now we can hit save and we're good to go. Structure saved as S1. Now you're going to want to remember... Um, the name of your structure, so you want to remember it, uh, make it something that you that's easy to remember. And now let's go a little bit far away. Let's go into the desert, you know? Let's say we don't really like that location of the house over there. And we want to go ahead and, like, move it a little bit. Move it a little bit farther away from there. So let's go ahead and put it in the grassy field, you know? Because maybe I think it uh, looks better over here or something. Um, or I want my house to be in this location. So what I could do now is I could place down another structure block over here. And then once I have this structure block, you're going to see at the top it says mode save. Now you're going to want to go, go ahead and click that. And you're going to want to change it to the load mode. So basically now this is where you're going to need to remember 
uh, you, the, the names of the different types of structures that you have saved. So mine, mine was called S1, but yours might be called something different. So if yours is called something different, you don't want to put S1. But if you also called yours S1, you want to put S1. So now once we have S1 here, uh, we can go ahead and load it. And then we can go ahead and press load. So now, as you can see, our house is right over here, back the same way it looks, except it is in a new location. And the fox is still here too, but it's caught in the, it's a little, a little bit caught in the cobweb. But yeah, we did it. We have successfully moved our house. Now, obviously, it's not going to have the roof. If you want to move the roof, we're going to have to make another structure blocks. As you can see, I already have some structure blocks here because uh, I was like testing it out before I made the video to make sure that I actually knew what I was doing. And uh, yeah, it actually looks kind of cool at night. Uh, so let's go ahead and place another structure block down for the roof part. So let's see what this grabs. Yep. So as you can see, this takes the roof. So now we're going to go ahead and give our house a, a little bit of a roof here. So we'll go ahead and name this S2. Um, S2 will be our roof structure. Um, I'm pretty sure we have everything that we need here. So we don't really need to uh, change the size at all. Because uh, basically including more stuff would just make it a little worse. Uh, include entities. Don't really have entities, so that doesn't matter. Remove blocks. Uh, obviously, we want the blocks. Save in memory, and we can go ahead and hit save once again. So now uh, we have S2 saved right there for the roof part. We can go ahead and head on back to our newly copied structure all the way over here. And now we can give our house a little bit of a roof. So we can go place it in the same location right over here. Go click on the structure block, as you can see, uh, we have the little bit of a roof right here, and uh, we can go press S2 and uh, offset uh, by one. Uh, do we want to place it one lower, or will this be fine? Because sometimes you might want to like place it like one block lower, one block higher, so it doesn't like overlap. Yeah, I think we'll uh, place it one block higher just in case it uh, overlaps. So we'll put it like up here yeah we'll do it like that so we'll go load again s2 um everything should be fine there um you want to move it to load again uh, make sure that you are in load mode when doing this um integrity um basically uh, if you want to learn about the integrity and see thing you could actually read, read about it over here um, but if you're just like playing on uh, copying structures, then you don't really need any of those. Rotation, you can choose to rotate it if you want to or mirror it. But we can just press load and then the roof should be right here. And there we go. We just moved the house completely with the roof. So now we can go get rid of the structure blocks. And now we have the same house with the same roof back in a new location. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. It might get more complicated, obviously, as you move bigger structures, but I just taught you how to move at least two structures. So now you can go ahead and try that with maybe bigger structures. And like I said, you can't take entities too. So if you have a little pet in there, it'll duplicate your pet too. So uh, that's basically how you use the structure block in uh, Minecraft. The basics, uh, just moving structures. Um, I think there's more that you can do with it. Not entirely sure, but that's just uh, what I know so far. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like if you liked. Subscribe, turn on notifications. Also join the Discord server, which is the first link in the description. Uh, if you want to watch live streams that happen almost daily at around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, then feel free to do that. And uh, yep, yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys all in the next video.